Other than perhaps 5G, nothing generates as much excitement and interest as the Edge and all the early hype that surrounds it. Yet the potential is vast and it's there for all to see, which is why there are so many projects, communities and industry bodies working to define suitable architectures, models and standards. It's the new gold rush as these groups rush to stake out their territorial claims before the inevitable consolidation begins. You know, obviously there's a technology curve, you know, there's the hype cycle. I think uh, Edge is probably at, pretty much at the height of the uh, hype cycle right now. Uh, but it's going to get to a steady state and there will always be more use cases, there will always be more work. When the ASG got started, the realization was that as the Edge cloud develops, and moves into telco networks. Um, there's going to be a couple of problems or a couple of areas where interoperability is going to be extremely important just to make things work. Um, and it will move for sure into telco networks because that's where the edge is, right? A, we all access networks through some kind of a telco access, fixed, mobile, Wi-Fi. And so if you want to place compute as close to a subscriber as possible, you have to be inside those networks. Well, the OpenStack Foundation, of course, really was one of the initial groups that, that got involved with edge computing and recognized that it, was, that it, that it had a lot of legs. So um, we've, we're in the OpenStack working group. Edge working group has been going for about two and a half years now. Uh, we have a substantial body of use cases. We have, some, uh, we have several architectures. Uh, laid out and we are actually driving that into development efforts. So what we have under our umbrella is uh, a top-level working group, we call it Edge Computing Group. Uh, the group itself is focusing on uh, use cases, defining reference architecture, uh, looking into the requirements and basically helping uh, projects, other projects under the uh, foundation umbrella to address the gaps and the needs of different Edge uh, use cases and scenarios. Um, we also have a new uh, top-level foundation pilot project. It's called Starting X. Starting X is basically providing an integrated platform uh, which is optimized for edge computing and IoT needs. We have the Edge Working Group um, and that's a collective of individuals uh, who have an interest, who are running networks, who are trying to vend into networks, uh, that are looking at what do we need to achieve? What do we need to provide? How do we take uh, what has been built as a data center technology and expose the capabilities that we want in a, in a ubiquitous platform across a network out into edge sites? Intel is looking at, at, at the edge as a, as a fantastic opportunity for all our partners and customers. Uh, we're bringing optimized products to market for the edge. We've just recently announced uh, our software development kit called OpenNess, which is a, a tool or a set of tools we're bringing to market to help and encourage the ecosystem to innovate faster, to help develop the next generation of edge services, if you will. We're also seeing a great opportunity in the industry uh, for disruption on the edge, where there's new entrants that are looking at, at the edge as an opportunity to deploy those services. A really good example of that is Rakuten in, in, uh, in Japan, who have deployed a wholly cloud-native IA-based network, um, where they're deploying their e-commerce services right on the edge of the network to take advantage of 5G, but also as well offer really good quality service to their customers. Nobody wants to waste time reinventing what others have already done or duplicating work. And there are signs that a number of projects and groups are starting to collaborate and engage in meaningful dialogue. Uh, unfortunately, right now, there's some competition among the open source communities, which I think is unfortunate. And, uh, but that's not the intention of the open source community. It's always to, to work together and be collaborative. I think we absolutely need them to come together. Um, they are beginning to come together. So, um, and it, it is an interesting community. There is Etsy Mac, which is the only standards group that's really focused on standards for the edge, although 3GPP is now doing some work in that space, right? Um, and then you have a couple of open source projects that are addressing different areas of it. And, um, then you have some brand new companies or initiatives from companies. Um, you know, you can talk about Mobile Ajax and the activity that they're driving in TIP, right? Mobile Ajax was uh, founded by Deutsche Telekom. 
uh, a little over a year ago. Uh, and you know, our initial activity that we've been doing is um, both product development and building an ecosystem. And what we uh, decided was that the missing piece in the edge space was the ability to have uh, like an aggregator of existing infrastructure that's present within the mobile networks, presenting that up into a common market, and then actually connecting that to devices and the actual applications on the devices. And so all of those do need to come together. It is such a big space that when you, if, if you actually pay attention to what they're doing, you'll realize that by and large these organizations tend to attack different components. Some of the groups know about each other, some don't. Uh, some are overlapping, um, but and some are concurrent. So, for example, the uh, 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 EdgeX Foundry, which is concerned with hardware, is um, is is very much parallel and and you know good complement. Uh, but there's some that are definitely overlapping. Equally, given the nature of participation in new open source groups, there remains the risk of developers quitting projects that encounter difficulties in favor of the next shiny new idea. Establishing stability in the edge sector and hence clarity for CSPs is not going to be easy. And then when you look at everybody that has to collaborate and come together in order to deliver that you know, superior experience to the actual customers of, of the edge, it requires the operators uh, to work together with the public clouds, to work together with you know, our own uh, sub-suppliers and vendors in the space, and to work together with the existing device makers, and you know, actually have sort of a collaborative approach to bring all that together for the benefit of the actual customers of an edge. You need a standard. I mean, every time you talk interoperability, that's where the standard needs to be, and that's the primary goal that Etsy Mac was put together to address, that's what we've been working on from a standardization point of view. Because we're an ISG, which means we're open to non-Etsy members, we can bring a wider industry together and we can also do other things under the auspices of Etsy.